This is Boudin here demonstrating the calibration of the Ludlum Model 177. It's also known as a Frisker. Those of you who don't know what a Frisker is, it's typically used with a probe to frisk people to determine whether or not there's contamination. Let me turn it on and show you a quick operation. Let me turn the volume up. And you can see, here's the pancake probe, Ludlum 44.9. You can see it's about 100 counts per minute or less, maybe, uh, I'd say maybe 30, 40. However, there's a source right here, and let's show you, this is a uranium ore from Poison Canyon, New Mexico. You can see the... Now I've turned the alarm off, otherwise it would be very loud. Let me turn this off. I'll disconnect the probe. Now in order to calibrate this unit, you need to use a Ludlum Model 500 pulser or equivalent. There are three steps to calibrating it. First step is to make sure that the high voltage is set correctly. The second step is to make sure that the calibration or discriminator is set correctly. And then the third step is to make sure <clears throat> that for each of the ranges, it's on the times one range right now, this knob is broken. I've got a replacement coming from Ludlum. Times one, times ten, times a hundred. Appropriate counts match what the pulser generates. The pulser generates the counts. This generates the voltage. Let me show you where you set and calibrate the device. <clears throat> if you can see here, the high voltage is set by this set screw. The calibration or discriminator is set here. When you're doing this calibration, you want to make sure that this is set to on. The switch here. And this calibrate each scale. Make sure that the counts match what the pulse is coming out or there's... Oh, these number, these uh, one, one hundred, one, ten, a thousand. Okay, that's how. It, that's the, basically the gist of it. So let's turn this back on. Turn the pulser on. Let me turn the volume down. Let me turn the one seventy seven on. Okay. First step is the calibration. And we're looking at a thousand volts right here. This is one kilovolt. I've already set it, so otherwise you'd, you'd go in the back and you'd, you'd use a high voltage screw and set it to nine. It says set at nine hundred is recommended uh, number. Next, we look at the uh, discriminator. That's recommended to be at. 80 millivolts so you can see here this is the 50 millivolts this is set to 50 so I'm at I'm at 50 millivolts now but I'm still getting pulses here's pulses coming <clears throat> the level is down because of the discriminator it's been already I've already set it when I put this off you'll see the counts come up higher generally when you have the discriminator on <clears throat> and you're at the level at which the pulses begin to trigger the device, at that level is considered to be basically about 75% of what it is when the pulses are of greater height. And generally going up significantly above that, the pulses uh, don't affect the count rate at all. <clears throat> you can see we've got 100 counts per minute coming from the pulser going to here. Well, that's good. So let's go to 500. Up. That's a coarse tune. Here's a fine tune. I'm going to go back higher on a coarse tune. This is a little fiddly here. It's 
So about 500 counts per minute right here. Uh, as you can see, it's 500 counts per minute. Now let's go to a higher scale. Let's go to 5,000 counts per minute. Times 10. Ah, look at that. Went back to 500. On the, went back to the top. Yeah, to 500. It's a very sensitive adjustment. The fine tune. Can't can't cut it. In any case, if you gotta go overboard, the Lord is flying a little bit here. Go up to five hundred. There we go. So this is um, 5,000 counts per minute. Now you could do the same for the other scales. There we go. And once again, since this device has been calibrated, we're ready to go. Hope you've appreciated this uh, lecture. And hope y'all got to get yourself a Model 177. Here's to love them, Model 177. Every radiation protection specialist needs one. Oh, well, it's not. Here we go. I turn it off.